Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining in. Um, this is my handmade paints order and we have a little bit from several different people and we're going to open these up, take a look, and they are going in this guy. So we'll put them all in there and we'll swatch them out today. So let's get started. The first package I have here is from The Prodigal Son off of Etsy, and he doesn't do fancy packaging, but boy is his paints good. I have a few others, and there's already a couple of them in that palette, and he uses all hard-to-get pigments. And he labels them because they are the original old-fashioned pigments. He always sends a little letter saying thank you. And so in this little bag we have Gamboge. A vermilion. And this little one we have, and we'll get a closer look and swatch all these out, Magne manganese brown, purple ochre, diopside 2, Uh, and Vivianite. And let's get a little closer. And we're going to go ahead and swatch those out in a little bit. Let's go on to the next one. The next package we have is from Jasper Stardust. Now, I've never tried his before. He wrapped it in a cute little... Uh, wrapping here. Take it a little present. His box is stamped. And we have hopefully lilac. I cannot read that. We'll have to open that and see. This one is Forest Retreat. Wistrous Brown. Venetian. Celtic. He always names them in kind of different names. And AVB. Not sure which ones that's initials. I'll have to look them up. And that was a Jasper Stardust grouping. We'll put those up there with the rest of them. And let's get into the next box. This is from Poems About You. I didn't open it. I just broke the seal on it so that I wouldn't have to use the sharp objects on camera. <laughs> and I have it in a oop, little bag that kind of slipped out. And I ordered some pans from them, some different kind of 3D printed pans because I thought that might be useful. They gave me a little sticker and I do have one paint in here. Where'd it go? Hmm. Let me retrieve. All right, I got that a little more organized. I got this one Fawn Ochre Deep. Looked like an interesting color. And then I got a few of these 
um, different kind of size pans. These are full pans, but they're divided into either thirds or fourths. And I thought these might be handy to just have on hand. Sometimes you run out of room in a palette and you just need a little extra space for one color. And then I got these slim pans and the uh, standard pan divided in half. So we will see how those work in the near. And let's get on to the next package. And the last package is from St. Louis Art Supply. Okay. We have a couple of tapes I wanted to try. Uh, Yin Min Blue. And I'm really loving these sketchbooks. So I got another one as a backup. And so we're going to take a look and swatch out these paints. We're also going to compare um, some of the old world pigments like this Gamboge um, to kind of the modern hues that we have, the new Gamboges, and a couple other of the natural pigments as well as this one compared to a Gallows. So stay tuned. All right, we got it all laid out for unwrapping. You can see that I had a couple of colors uh, previously in this palette, and I'll be adding the rest of the colors to it. In here we have the original Manganese Blue, Quinn Gold, the PO49, and A Gallo, this is the Quinn Chestnut, which has the PR206. So I'm trying to make this little palette kind of rare pigments slash uh, handmade pigments. So we're going to be putting in um, the pink that's partnered to this, and then these, and that should fill her up. So let's unwrap. All right, let me go ahead and unwrap a couple of these so we can see how they're wrapped. This is the This is the Prodigal Sons uh, Vermilion. Now, I haven't tried this actual pigment from him, but his paints are fabulous. Like, wow. And they're all the original pigments, the old world pigments, so if you ever want to compare to what's out there. So he wraps all his in a little bit of paper to keep them all fresh as they come. Pans are always nicely filled. And he does mark all of them on the side. I got my Sharpie out for some. I don't know. I've never tried Jasper Stardust before. Uh, Poems About You, I think I had one paint from them. So those are kind of two new ones from me. And let's see how the Jasper Stardust opens. So they have just the paper. Peel off. And looks nicely filled. There is no marking, so we will have to mark these. And the poems about you. They, if you hear a little doggy in the background, oh, they have tape on the sides. They kind of got to work off. And just a paper. They are marked on the side and they seem a tiny bit overfilled. So I'll go ahead and unwrap the rest of these and be right back. All right, my jigsaw puzzle is complete. I got as many pans as I possibly could with only a tiny little space left over. And we're gonna go ahead and swatch these on this. And I use some large tape because after these dry, we'll go ahead and rip the tape off and we'll compare them to some of the other pigments by other brands. Okay, first up is Venetian, or Vermilion, sorry, BR106. Prodigal Sun's paints are so pigmented. Really, really heavy duty. They are made so beautiful. And he has all the rare ones, which makes it kind of fun. 
Then we have Jasper Stardust Venetian. I have decided to call this palette my mushroom palette. A little dangerous, quite pretty. I don't know why I have a thing. I have to name all my palettes. Then we're going into Jasper Stardust Violet Brown. This one is a little harder to rewet. Pretty though, very pretty. Then we have Jasper Stardust Celtic Violet. And this one seems to be really potent. And I forgot to mention I am using the Jackson's Quill 10 slash zero their own brand. Really nice brushes. Then we'll go into PR206, which is the only A Gallo in this palette. And now I know that they discontinued the PR206. I know A Gallo still has some, but for how long, I don't know. Beautiful color. And of course, a gallo never disappoints. And now we have Poems About You, Vaughn Orchid, Orchard. Uh oh, the puppies are going crazy. I don't know if you could hear them or not. Now we have Manganese Brown by Prodigal Sun. It's got some potency to it. All his colors do. They all re-wet very easily. Sometimes there's one, but I think it's more pigment drived. Now we're going into Prodigal Sun's Gamboge NY24. Now this is the dangerous pigment in here. There's cautionaries, as there is with some pigments. And we will be comparing this one to other um, new Gamboges and see how they actually compare to the real thing. Thought it'd be a little fun. Make sure we get a nice mass tone on there. Wow, that is lovely. And then we have our Quinn Gold. I'm trying to hold the palette so you, everyone can see how they re-wet. And this is Prodigal Sons, PO49. Absolutely stunning. It's too bad they don't make this anymore. Now we'll go into Manganese, Prodigal Sun, 
PD33. Look at that. Ooh I love it. Prodigal Son, Vivianite. This is one of my favorites from him. It has like this dusky kind of color to it. I think I might have had a little too much water on there. Extra Chosky pigment. There we go. Prodigal Sun Diopside. This one tends to be just low tinting strength. Still easily to rewet. Very interesting color. And that also has that kind of gray feeling to it. Next we have Jasper Stardust Forest Retreat. Nice, rich. Now I don't have pigment information on some of his because he doesn't kind of disclose it, which I get. They want their colors to be theirs. These handmade um, paints take a lot of work. Beautiful. Then we have Jasper Stardust Witch's Brew. Nice kind of all of the yellow green. And now we have Jasper Stardust Pink Carnation Dark. I love these pinky kind of muted pinky colors. This is so pretty. It reminds me of a color um, that I will show you in a little bit. Then I had a color Nectar. It's Grand Le Plume. Now they're no longer in business, but this was a favorite by them. All their paints were extremely smooth, but they're not on Etsy anymore, so I don't know where you can get it or if they decided not to make paints anymore. Wonderful color though. Next is Prodigal Sun, Purple Ochre, PR 102. Let me get this on camera. Let me get it on wet. I love this color. This was one of the first ones that I tried with Prodigal Suns and was like, oh my goodness. I have to get more of his paints. And 
And then we go into the little section that I, out of those new pans by Poems About You, uh, they had the divider pans, and I put that in for the Yin Tin Co Pink and the Yin Min Blue. And these are both by Schwinka. are very pretty colors. go together. Maybe they'll come up with more of these new kind of pigments. You can see a lot of granulation in there. So it's a whole bit more water to just to make sure. All right. Now we're going into Jasper Stardust. The lilac. That's a very, it's not, um, you know, a lot of lilacs usually have white added to them. This doesn't feel very opaque. It feels very transparent, which I kind of liked. Beautiful. And then I had that tiny little space left over in the corner that I put one of those tiny little pans in and I threw a little uh, Michael Harden um, Payne's Gray. And if you'd like to see more about Michael Harding's um, paints, I have a video where I swatch my whole collection. They are really good. Really good. Lovely. So we'll let these dry. I'm going to go ahead and dig up some comparisons and we'll do a tape pull and then we will check the comparisons out. All right, we are all dry. Let's go ahead and get this tape off. clean tape pull, not too many problems. And I will bring this up so you can get a closer look. And then we will do our comparisons on some of the colors. I think this is going to be a really pretty palette. Something a little fun to work with, a little different. Okay, let's see what we've got. On the Quinn Gold, we have Daniel Smith, Windsor Newton, Schminka, A. Gallo, and Roman Sch uh, Schmoll. And all of them, I think, are pretty close, although I think the A. Gallo and the Windsor Newton are the closest to the real one. So that's kind of nice to know. And then we have, also in this row, we have the Windsor and Newton PB15, their manganese, which this one's PB33, and you can see it's not quite as deep. So, but a pretty close match for a pigment that's not around anymore. And then we have, in the next column, we have our vermilions 
which look way different. These are much brighter than this. And then our new gam our gamboge compared to our new gamboges that I have, the Windsor Newton would be a closer resemblance. The My Mary Blue is nowhere even in the vicinity, at least not in person. It's got a much peacher hue to it. Let me just go ahead and bring you down instead. Much, much more peach type look. And then this is the Yin Min Blue comparisons. Very different. This one has a very a much softer look to it and much more even distribute, but this one is much more potent than that. Um, I think it's just darker in general. So kind of interesting to see the two Yin Mins look so different. Let's see if we can even bend this just a little bit. Get it right up to there. This one even washed a little green, I would say. I'd say in this tone it's closer. This is definitely a lot on the more red side. So that's kind of very interesting, I found. Now we'll go compare our um, Venetian. Venetians all kind of match up pretty close. They're all very much the same. The uh, manganese brown is nowhere even in the, <laughs> the realm of being similar. And that was the only other one that I had that was actually manganese brown. So kind of interesting. This one's by Windsor & Newton, and it is extremely different. So, and then we go down to... I had compared this one when I originally got the tube. And I had originally compared the um, Yin Tin Co pink to um, Petra Rose. And it was a little warmer. So what I did is I searched through all my colors to see what else I could find. This is Ultra Pink by A Gallo. It's a little bit close. It's pretty, I'd say it's probably the closest out of these four. Then we have MG um, Ultra Pink marine pink. Mm, this one's a lot more purple. And then I thought I'd try Shinhan purple gray. And that has very close, very close to it. Might even be closer than the ultra pink by a gallo. Just in case you wanted something a little more affordable that would give you pretty much the same look. Oh, you're off camera. I'm a crazy person. Let me go ahead and sh show you these. This was the M. Graham. This is the um, Ultramarine Pink by A. Gallo. This is the, um, um, oh my goodness, <laughs> I completely um, blank. Petra Rose, there we go. And this is Shinhan Purple Gray. And the Shinhan Purple Gray, I would say, is, is pretty close. And so is the Ultra Pink by A. Gallo. And I think those are the closest ones that I had. So that would be that row there. It's amazing how different brands have such different looks to them. And then for our last comparison... We are going to look at these. We have also another 206. Uh, this one is Daniel Smith, and they are very, very close. And then Old Holland was another one that kind of had the same name, but it's, it's very orange. This Witch's Brew kind of resembles the olive on um, M. Graham. And down here, let me make sure you're at screen this time. Um, on here, they have um, 
this pink carnation dark which I would say is kind of a combo this is Potter's Pink by Winsor Newton, Potter's Pink by Schmika, and Pink Tone by Kremer. So I'd say all three of them are very close to the Pink Carnation. So I hope that helps. You get a little comparison, or if you wanted to kind of make a palette out of something that you already have, or similar colors so I hope the comparison helped you a little bit and maybe finding something more affordable than these pigments if you do want to get some of these um, straight pigments um, they are from prodigal Sun, and he's on Etsy and I'll leave a link in the description I'm not sponsored or anything he just happens to make have these kind of more rare pigments I really appreciate you joining me today here's another look at the little palette and I hope you had a little fun seeing a couple of rare pigments or harder to find pigments. And thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.